In order to do this effect, you have to film it properly. First thing you have to do is get a shot of the location that you wanna get during the daytime. Here you can see that this is where I filmed for the intro and you pick a specific point to keep the crosshairs right in the middle of your frame on and you start at a starting point, which I did right here. I used a gimbal and I kept the camera about chest height and walked slowly, consistently all the way to the end. Then for the second shot, using the same camera and the same lens, you wanna do the exact same thing but at nighttime. Time to edit. Let's go. And not only am I gonna show you how to do the day to night transition, but I'm gonna show you some really cool alternatives that are really easy to do. Also, if you want the stock footage, check out the link down in the description to follow along. And also, I'm just getting over being sick, so please excuse my super deep radio voice. Here are the two clips that we are gonna use for today's video. First thing you wanna do is do some color correction. This is a power grade that I use. You guys can check out my power grades and LUTs down in the description. First, what I like to do is stabilize. You can come over here to the right-hand side under the inspector and select stabilize, or put the playhead over the clip that you wanna do the stabilization on. Go into fusion, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in tracker, add the tracker node, and go ahead and select a point that you wanna track in the shot. Then come over here to the right-hand side under the adaptive mode, best match and track forwards and backwards. Once that is done, click on Operation, click on the drop-down, select Match Move, and under the Merge drop-down, select Background Only. Scrub through your clip and see where you need to zoom in a little bit. If you see the checkerboard, you need to add a Transform node and zoom it in just a little bit. Scrub through the clip, make sure you don't see any checkerboard in your shot, and you're good to go. Hop back into the Edit tab, and then do the exact same stabilization method for this clip. All right, now it's time to do a bit of speed ramping. And there's a few ways to speed ramp, but for right now, I'm just gonna right click on this clip and select Retime Controls. I'm gonna scrub up to the point where I wanna have the transition, and I'm going to click on the drop down and select Add Speed Point. Come up here to the top where it says Keyframes. Click on Keyframes, then come over here to the left corner here. You'll see this little keyframe editing parameter adjustment. What you'll wanna do is click at the top left of this clip and drag it up like so. Now what you can do is highlight this point right here and select this little round ease and in icon and you can ease in the speed ramp and make it nice and smooth. You can drag it out like that. And so depending on how quickly you want your speed ramp to go, you'll have to tweak this a little bit. So I'm gonna make it really fast. All right, perfect. Next, what we have to do is get to our next clip and find where we wanna make this transition happen. So I'm gonna go right about here. I'm gonna click and drag this clip above it. And I'm gonna drag and kind of eyeball it just to kind of see how close this is to the car underneath it. So with this clip above the nighttime clip, you can come over here to the right hand side and where you see the composite mode, you can turn this down so you can see through the clip essentially. And you can click and drag this around. Now these clips are not perfect, but we'll be able to get it close enough to the point where when we do the transition, you won't be able to tell. So I'm just paying attention to the back of the car right here, and this looks like it lines up pretty well. I'm gonna go like this, and then once I get it close enough, I'm gonna turn up the opacity, then I'm gonna drag and trim the bottom clip like that, and line these up. I'm gonna come over here to the effects, click on the video transitions, and I'm gonna drag on one of my shake transitions, which you can also get linked down in the description. I'm gonna shorten it up so it's nice and short. And then I'm gonna also turn down the shake speed to about 0.1. Then that way it creates a nice little boom. If you guys were wondering about the sky replacement, I'll get to that soon. Next, what I wanna do is I'm gonna come over here to the effects and drag an adjustment clip here like this. I'm gonna trim it and I'm gonna add my new ultra blur updated motion blur plugin. Just drag that on top like so. You have the option between simple blur and extreme blur. And as you can see, it, it really, it makes things nice and smooth and it runs super quick. I mean, I didn't, I just dragged it on and it, and it works. I'm just going to fade it out a little bit like so. Awesome. Now there's this on and off animation that is super important for this because it just kind of adds the cherry on the top. I used Envato. They're actually the sponsor of this video, but all you have to do is click on the stock video and then just type in on and off switch. It comes up with a bunch of awesome things. This is the one that I used right here. You have access to all of this and it's only like 15 bucks a month. It's insane. This is where I get a lot of assets where I just need to pull stock footage or you know anything audio, graphics for product drops or you know video templates for whatever software you're using and Gen AI. This is 
It's insane. You guys should check it out. Link down in the description. So when you use the on and off animation, by default, it's kind of slow. So you will have to retime it and time up your transitions and your speed ramps. So you have enough time for this little thing to basically do its thing. So as you can see here, this is the intro of the video. So I have the, the motion blur. I'm gonna disable this for now. But I have the motion blur with this speed ramping backwards. And then I have the on and off switch and then I have it transitioning with my shake transition into that shot. And then I actually did a reverse compound clip and speed ramped that into this time-lapsed screen replacement shot. And then it shakes back out to the daytime shot and then it transitions into me talking. So just know that if you do want to have everything kind of fit, you wanna make sure you give yourself enough time with the clip that you're speed ramping to have this animation play before the day to night transition. All right, let's hop to the sky replacement. So the sky replacement is gonna happen in this clip here. With your playhead over this clip, click on Fusion. Let's go ahead and hold down Shift and press Spacebar and add a Delta key here. Essentially, we're gonna treat this sky as a blue screen. I'm gonna click on this here, drag the eyedropper over that like so. I'm actually gonna hop back to Envato, click on Stock Video, and I don't have a time lapse of some awesome stars, so time lapse of stars and you guys can see there's a ton of options here so you can select basically whatever you really want i've already downloaded some stars from them so i'm going to come over here to my media pool and find where that is amazing shooting stars now they are a bit purple so i'm gonna have to adjust that but after the delta here let's go ahead and add a merge node connect the stars to that merge node on that merge node, hold down Command and push T to swap the inputs. Now, as you can see, the stars are significantly a higher resolution than this because I rendered the clip before. So you, may, you might have to resize by just adding a resize node after the stars. And then just a little bit of color correction will do a lot. So let's go ahead and add a color corrector. And I'm just gonna maybe just so I'm gonna push the hue to be a little bit more blue. And let's see how this looks. Okay, we might have to adjust the delta key a little bit. Do something like that. There we go. All right, I just adjusted the threshold under the mat. If you come over to the effects and you, type, and you go under the video transitions and type in Luma, you can find like the Luma wipe which is actually really popular in a lot of ways. You can do the Luma wipe like that. Or if you wanna do the particles, I have a particle Luma transition you guys can download linked down in the description, but essentially it's insane. It's really cool and it creates a really cool effect. You can do a bunch of cool fun things with it. And uh, anyways, that's the day to night transition. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.